Since cameras were invented, the beauty of the outdoors has always been a favorite subject of photographers. Hi, I'm Don Gale, and I'm a professional photographer from Los Angeles. And in this Tamron podcast, we're going to be shooting here in one of my favorite places and one of the most scenic places on the planet, Yosemite National Park. Today I'll be using several lenses because I want to be ready for anything we come across. Since Tamron lenses are so light and compact, I can carry six or seven with me at all times. One of Yosemite's major attractions is Yosemite Falls, and it's one of the tallest waterfalls in the world at over 2,400 feet. I want to get a shot of it at a very slow shutter speed so that it'll blur the motion of the water for a really dramatic fluid effect. For this shot, a tripod is a must, as any camera movement will compromise the photograph. I've got the ISO set at 100, and my aperture is set at 22. I'm even using a circular polarizing filter here, which is going to help reduce some of those reflections on the cliff right behind the waterfall. And it's also going to help slow the shutter speed by two stops. I'll even use a cable release so that I don't have to touch the camera. Right now it's late in the day, and I'm getting some diffused soft light from this cloud cover. Here's a few shots that we took earlier in the day from the same location, same subject. The only difference was the sun was out, very direct light, and that combination with the vapor at the uh, base of the waterfall created this killer rainbow. It actually looks like it's clearing up, which would be great. In Yosemite, you never know when you're going to get the opportunity to shoot wildlife. Just yesterday afternoon, we came across a small herd of deer grazing just before sunset. But I'm just going to kind of walk up, see if we can get a shot of him right over this log. Just set the tripod right here. Come on, buddy. Luckily, they didn't take off when I got close, so I was able to get some great shots. But I didn't want to just get close-ups. I wanted to get some shots of these deer as part of the landscape. Just look up, buddy. <whistles> One of the things that we had to adjust on the camera here was the ISO setting. I had it previously set for a waterfall situation where we were trying to use long shutter speeds. So I went from 100 up to 400. Although they were moving fairly slowly, I was able to keep the focus tracked on them and keep the deer in the foreground sharp and let the ones in the background just drop a little bit out of focus, which I think draws your eye right to the main subject, which is the deer in the foreground. Perhaps the most iconic image of Yosemite is Half Dome. The best time to shoot it is at sunset and the most popular vantage point is from Sentinel Bridge. But I found another spot that I like even better. It's a couple hundred yards downstream. There's a small area on the riverbank that gives me a great shot of Half Dome with a much better reflection. Because it's evening, the light in the sky is much brighter than that of the foreground. So I'm using a graduated neutral density filter to balance out the light. These grad filters come in varying densities, and for this particular shot, I'm going to use a three-stop filter. I have the ND portion covering Half Dome right now, taking it down the three stops that we need. That should match the rest of the valley perfectly. Man, this is such a classic scene. We got it. Remember, you don't need to be in a place as beautiful as Yosemite to get great pictures. Once you've mastered a few basic fundamentals and some good techniques, you'll be able to get good pictures no matter where you go.